Today, I'll show you the results of our test with these three products, Flex Glue, Flex Tape, and Gorilla Waterproof Patch Seal Tape. Which is best? Are any of them any good? And we're gonna put them to the test on one of the hardest things to seal, a leaky rain barrel. Interested? Here we go. I've never used this Flex Seal Tape, but I've always been interested to see if it truly works. Got a crack right here, runs down the bottom. We had a really great rain, so we went out to use the rain barrel, and guess what? All the water was gone. It's kind of a slow leak, because in the morning it was completely full. By the next day, it was all gone. So you take, in this case, just a ammonia wipe, make sure that area is all cleaned up, dry it out really good before you put the tape on. Never used this tape before. So we're just gonna open it up and see how it works. Bunch of advertisements direction. Just cut and peel and stick and seal. Both the top and the bottom are really sticky on the edge. I guess that's a good sign. This is taped. I'd like to keep the instructions and just wrap up the tape afterwards. There we go. Oh, well that doesn't give me a lot of confidence. It's not a straight, nice cut. You make me pay $13 and you can't even cut a straight line on this thing. Now this has got a bit of a curve to it. I'm just trying to see if I can do it with one length here. I'm just gonna cut it off. Kind of thought through this a little bit. I'm just gonna peel and gonna roll it on. It is real sticky. Get all the air bubbles out. On this water barrel, you can see the crack goes from here to here. I still might be able to use a thin piece, but it's kind of complicated because it's right around where the fixture goes in. I'm gonna do one on this side, and since I can reach, I'm gonna probably put one in here and see if that makes any difference. Start at the beginning of the crack, and just kind of push your way down. Maybe on the inside, the seal will be a little better. It's a little smoother on the inside, but I just don't want to have any kind of gap, so I'm just gonna take a real thin strip this time. So $13, which got plenty left over to fix $160 worth of rain barrels pretty good deal if it works and that's probably just a three-quarter of an inch piece right there and then I'm gonna start at the bottom this time and just push it in place that's two repairs in about three minutes a piece I probably used about four inches of the five feet so I've got plenty left over for other projects in the future all we need now is to have some more rain We've had a couple of good days of solid rain, so let's check to see what the results are from the flex seal. So here's the water barrel where the flex seal was on the bottom. Okay, well that seems to be pretty good. It's all the way to the top. I moved this bot because originally it didn't seem like it was working. Put it down flat on the deck, and I guess that was the compression of the seal that kept it in place. I can feel that the patch has failed. There's dampness right there coming through. It's a very small amount, enough to keep the water barrel full, but the, yeah, see, the seal's failed. Here's the other seal. I can see some voids in it. Let's look and see what it's like on the inside. Yeah, you can see right here that the seal's failed on this side. So very disappointing on the flex seal. Now this is a kind of rough surface. I guess I could sand it up. I have been a fan of Gorilla Glue in the past. So let's give this a try. Promises to work underwater, permanent bond. Well, that's kind of what flex seal told us. And it's not a permanent bond and it doesn't work underwater. As luck would have it, I've been trying to come up with a reason to use this new tool I got for a couple bucks future evaluation later, but this seems like an ideal opportunity to try this out. So I'll just push this up here and get a sense of the patch we need to make. Now this tape happens to be black. I used the clear. There was several options with the flex seal. This seal appears to be thicker. And measure it out so I know where to cut into. And then I'm going to extend it out a little bit, probably to about here. So I'm going to extend the patch a little bit on both sides. Maybe that'll be a difference. And then I'm going to put it back on the inside, try to replicate the same thing. 
Take the old patch off. It's hit or miss. Yeah, all the sticky's gone on it. Now, I realize there's a crack here, and it's a bit of a challenge, but you shouldn't advertise awesomeness if that's not what you're gonna be able to do. After giving this a little bit more thought, I think I'm just gonna come up here and cut right there, cut that piece off, and then have it sit in there just like that. Take my Hello Kitty pencil and just kind of outline where the patch should go. Lay it up right in that corner. Push the seal down. This does have a little bit of stretching on it, stretchability. You want to try to get all the air gaps out though, because air gaps in this case will represent failure of the seal. I can tell you right now, this stuff's a lot more stickier than the flex tape. And it costs the same amount of money, and you get more. As per the packaging. I'm feeling better about this. Yeah, it's kind of laughing at that little seam, that little crack right there. I used the same tool on the inside as I did on the outside, and that's my form. So I'm gonna try cutting it along here, and it's a little bit of an angle. See if I can patch that up. It's supposed to get a big rain tonight, so we'll see if this patch works. Much to my disappointment, the Gorilla waterproof patch did well up here, but failed here on the bottom, right there. So maybe that crack is a little too hard. The Gorilla patch worked really well here, but not there. So we're gonna take one more stab at it with flex glue. I thought this was gonna do the job until I read this little part right here. Some plastics in vinyl. So it may not work here either. But we're gonna give it a shot. The other thing is, is curing. When I put this patch on, it rained probably within 48 hours. When I put the flex tape patches on, it rained probably within 48 hours. I'm gonna give this a good cure, a good it says up to a week worth of cure reaches maximum strength in seven days. And we'll see if that makes a difference. I'm gonna cut this patch away. Keep the rest of it there intact. Dry that off really good. It says don't get it on your skin. There's a little line here to like any caulking. There we go. It's thick, doesn't appear that you would have to mix it. And then we're just gonna take a cheap plastic knife, work it into all the spaces here. And run it right up here into that gap. And then just let it sit here for seven days. Then we'll turn it over and see if it works. Precisely, almost to the minute, a week later. When I put this on, I thought it was like regular caulk. I don't remember it being all stringy like this. But now it's kind of dried into some really hard coating. And it looks like it's pretty good. So hopefully it's gonna work. We're gonna give it a test. Okay, that's the patch on the inside. It seems drier than it did before. Maybe the key to all this patch and super seal stuff is letting it dry for a week. Here's the barrel where the Flex Seal clear patch was on the bottom. It's come down about an inch and a half in a two week period. I would say that's sealed. It's not sealed on the inside like this, like the other barrel was. Now we'll hook up this to our water system. Put the cover on and see how it does in the next rainfall. It's been several weeks. I wanted to make sure these things were working. It's rained a lot. So we have an accurate conclusion here. So let's take the top off and see what happened. And the seal leaked. It didn't leak completely, but it's seeping. And what do I mean by seeping? Let me show you. 
So if I push on it, you can see that there's a little trickle of water coming through and it's right there. The seal has broken. Otherwise, I think it might have survived. So even though the caulk looks like it would have worked, this is an expanding crack and it just didn't do it. So what did we learn about all this? The flex seal works in compression. This works on the side, probably works on compression. This works in some cases, but like we saw here, it didn't work in this case. None of these worked in this case. So we're almost like this. It does work better than duct tape. And these things here cost about $70 a piece. So if I can recover one, then that's good. You get way more than you need. This is like a lifetime supply and it'll probably go bad before you use it again, unless you've got lots of things to seal. So would I buy it? Eh, like that. I guess you pay your money, take your chances. If I could do only one of these, I'd probably go with this one. It's denser than regular caulk, but it's pretty much caulk. Clear tape is good in some applications. I'd be interested to see what other people's experiences are with these products. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more evaluations, more builds, all sorts of stuff, indoors, outdoors, coming soon.